Jai Gurudev, Sadhvi, Nitya, Bodha Ji, thank you for taking the time to speak with us today. To begin, can you tell us what distinguishes a Gurukul from modern educational systems? Thank you for having me, Jai Gurudev. The Gurukul system, like modern education, is deeply rooted in Vedic traditions. It emphasizes holistic development through spiritual model and practical education. The focus is on character development, discipline and a sense of responsibility towards society. In a Gurukul, students live with their Guru, engaging in daily course and studying sacred texts. Thus, integrating learning with life itself how does the ashram environment contribute to this unique form of learning an ashram provides a serene and disciplined environment crucial for spiritual growth here learning extends beyond textbooks to include life skills meditation and selfless service the ashram is a microcosm where one practices the principles of humility simplicity and respect for nature this atmosphere cultivates a sense of inner peace and focus essential for deep learning and self-realization can you elaborate on the daily routine in a Gurukul? How does it differ from a typical school day? The daily routine in a Gurukul is structured yet flexible to include spiritual practices and personal study. The day begins early with meditation and prayers at dawn followed by physical exercises like yoga. Students then engage in studies which may include Vedic scriptures, mathematics and sciences. Afternoons are often dedicated to practical learning such as agriculture or arts. Evenings are reserved for discussions and self-reflection. Culminating in evening prayers, unlike modern schools, the Gurukul day integrates academic learning with spiritual and practical life skills. You mentioned the integration of spiritual practices. How are these practices woven into the educational curriculum? Spiritual practices are central to the Gurukul system and curriculum. Meditating, chanting and rituals are part of their daily schedule. These practices instill discipline, concentration and a deeper connection with the divine students learn to live in harmony with nature and understand the principles of dharma, righteous living. These practices are not merely religious but are designed to foster a balanced and ethical life. What role does the Guru play in this system and how does the Guru-student relationship differ from a student-teacher relationship in conventional education? The Guru in a Gurukul is more than just a teacher. They are a mentor, guide and spiritual parent. The Guru-student relationship is based on mutual respect, trust and a deep personal connection. Students live with the Guru, sharing their lives and learning through observation. At direct instruction, their relationship is continuous and personal. Unlike the more transactional and segmented teacher-student interactions in modern education, the Guru imparts wisdom not only through teaching but by exemplifying the principles they teach. Ashrams and Gurukuls often emphasize cleanliness and discipline. How are these values integrated into daily life? Cleanliness and discipline are foundational in the Ashram and Gurukul life. They are taught not only as physical practices but as spiritual disciplines. Clean surroundings reflect a clean mind and disciplined habits lead to disciplined thoughts and actions. Daily routines include maintaining personal and communal cleanliness, respecting personal space and following a disciplined lifestyle. These values are seen as integral to personal growth and societal harmony. In today's fast-paced world, what relevance do you see for the traditional Gurukul system? The Gurukul system holds immense relevance even today in a world overwhelmed by materialism and informed information overload. The Gurukul's focus on holistic education, spiritual grounding and ethical living provides a much-needed balance. It teaches self-reliance, community living and a deep sense of purpose, countering the often superficial goals of modern education. By integrating ancient wisdom with contemporary needs, the Gurukul model can foster well-rounded individuals capable of leading with compassion and integrity. Could you share a memorable story or experience from the Gurukul life that highlights its unique impact on students? Certainly, I recall a young boy who came to the Gurukul shy and introverted. He struggled with his studies and lacked confidence. Through the personalized guidance of the Guru and the supportive environment of the Gurukul, he began to flourish. He learned to meditate, which improved his concentration and engaged in community service, which built his confidence. By the time he completed his education, he was not only academic, ac academically accomplished, but also poised and compassionate young man. This transformation is a testament to the Gurukul's ability to nurture the complete personality of a student. Thank you, Sadhvi Nitya Bodhaji, for sharing these profound insights into the Gurukul and Ashram traditions. It has been an enlightening conversation. It was my pleasure. May these timeless teachings continue to inspire and guide us towards a balanced and harmonious life. Jai Gurudev.